I want to ask you about parenting. Um, you both have two, you have two children, you have three. Um, what, have, did your children do anything growing up that just amazed you, that you didn't think that that would be a part of parenthood? <laughs> Were you a strict or a lenient parent? I was probably both. I was probably strict at times. I mean, they knew what they should do, or if they did it, they knew the consequences. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And uh, I really didn't have too much problem with the kids. The only incident that even involved the police was with my youngest son. And Tony had called me from home. I was working in Orange County that my youngest son had been arrested. He and Odell had stolen a motorcycle. They borrowed it. Well, we didn't know. <laughs> so I told her, well, can you, well, you know, you told me that uh, you could get him into your custody if you came down. I said, okay, then take him home and make them both stay there, and I'm coming home. And so I left work, and I get to the house and whatnot. So I wanted to know what exactly happened. And did you steal this one or something? Both of them quick, no. Come to find out that the boy that owned the motorcycle, who was the friends of my son at Odell, his friend, the boy's parents told them not to let anyone ride. Mm. And so you know how the kids are, I guess, oh, come on, man, we ain't gonna hurt your motorcycle, this and that. They let him ride. Then the parents come home and there's no motorcycle. So then it's stolen. So then they caught them, caught them going up Crenshaw or something. Uh, yeah. So we got that squared away. And that's the only problem we've had as far as the law or anything that uh, was a disappointment. And when you got the truth out, there was, wasn't really a disappointment, you know. Did you guys have a blended family? Did your kids live together? Never well, a Brady Bunch, but they did live together at different It times. was like one would li live and then decide to leave, another would come in. And it was back and forth that way. With my two kids, her son, and uh, her daughter. My oldest daughter didn't, uh, she's she was the out oldest. Out of house. Yeah, she was even out of the state. But we, had a, we had an interesting. Uh, experience with that when uh, my family, my grandfather, who was actually born in California, believe it or not, that's another <laughs> Um He had uh, built like a cabin in um, in Vermont, and um, it has no water. It has a cistern. Uh, we have um, no electricity. We have to bring up the water and. Um, there is a generator now to pump the water. We used to pump it by hand um, from the um, so dam to the cistern and then we pump it up for the dishes. Then when drinking water, we'd have to bring it. And um, so one year, we took all, basically all the kids except for Tom's daughter, and we went up there and uh, we had a walk up there and it's really nice. It's, it's just, you know, there's nothing to do. So. I mean, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You're on top of there's, the mountain. But there's, you know, there's trails and there's walking and there's, you know, just cooking and making you know, stuff. Were the up there then? Yeah, I think we might have had some water like this up there or something. But, um, so we were, um, they, they kind of bonded really well, you know. And my daughter had a friend who said, actually she since passed away, whose father, had left the mother at birth practically, but he worked for two different ways. So he gave 
the child path, so she was traveling the paths. I was traveling on my paths. My kids were traveling on the paths. Tom was traveling on his daughter's paths. Um, David. David uh, and Tommy were traveling, I guess, on their mother's paths. Anyway, we had all these, you know, different things. So we were in the Boston airport, and uh, we we're sitting there, you know, kind of waiting for the flight, and standing by, and we had checked in. And we said, they said, Are, you know, you're a family. And we said, yes, you know. So, um, but we had all these different paths and everything. But then the kids, the kids were all playing. You know how kids, when they bond, they're all playing, they're kidding around. They, and they all, you know, well aware of how people will view them. And uh, so they kept sending people down and they would look at us and then they go back. So apparently they were taking like bets to, <laughs> that we were not a family, we were a family, you know. It's like, um, but um, that, you know, it seems like, and the kids have all accepted each other and um, the only time that the kids, my kids had a problem being blended families, we were in Montreal for the uh, Olympics. We drove over there from Vermont and, and uh, people really stared. You know, because they don't have, but that was the only time that they really had, uh, and, and they really, you know, it wasn't a problem, right. but they, they were not, you know, they, they, com they comment on it, but the rest of the time, they've never really had mm -hmm. any kind of problems.